Hey everyone, welcome back to Space But Messier. This week, we're gonna talk about asteroid mining and how profitable it can be. Now, I know you guys wanna hear about astronomy and cosmology, and those things are coming, like I said last week. So thank you for your patience. This is something that I was really excited about based on a class I took, so I wanted to share it with you. Um, but without further ado, here we go. Now, I got a lot of this info from The Case for Space by Robert Zubrin. He is not endorsing this video. I just read it. This is actually my textbook for my course, my uh, master's level course right now. Uh, it's really, really good. So I recommend that you read it. Once again, not an endorsement, just a super good book. One of the chapters they talk about is how to make money from asteroid mining and if it's actually a potential business that is it going to actually be lucrative in the future. So let's dive into it. In his book, he outlines the components for a typical 2 billion ton Type S asteroid. Type S asteroids make up about 80% of those surveyed and are composed of stony iron as opposed to metal or silicate rocks and lie about 2.4 astronomical units from the sun. Now let's break down what the actual value of this massive rock would be. Using rough estimates of the 2 billion ton asteroid, 1.8 billion tons would comprise of rock with no resale value here on Earth. About 200 million tons would be iron, which would sell at 70 cents per kilogram for a total of $140 billion of this asteroid. About 30 million tons would be nickel, which would sell at $13 per kilogram for a total of $380 billion of this asteroid. About 1.5 million tons would be cobalt, which would sell at $60 per kilogram for a total of $90 billion for this asteroid. And about 7,500 tons would be platinum group elements, which would sell at $40,000 per kilogram for a total of $300 billion. Now that sounds like a huge score, right? Snag one of those and you've got almost a trillion dollars? Not quite. Zubrin goes on to explain how feasible this really is. To make it all work, Zubrin claims that you'd need to refine it in space. Yeah, one of those in space. With 90% of it being worthless rock, moving it all to Earth would only grant you 15 cents per kilogram and definitely not worth shipping it to Earth. That being said, Zubrin says to make it worth your trip, you'd have to refine it down to the cobalt and platinum group elements at most, giving the miners a sale of $400 million. Now this, if part of a larger operation with reusable spacecraft, this could be feasible. This is great news, $400 million, let's all go into asteroid mining. But there are two reasons why the early birds may be the only ones to get the worm in this industry. First, necessary and reusable technology has not been developed to fly to, capture, refine, and return asteroids. Second, with an influx of all of that material, how many years would cobalt and platinum group elements be worth that staggering $400 million price tag? How long before it turns into the main activity of the poverty-stricken citizens of the belt? Okay, many years, but you get my point. That being said, mining asteroids will still be important and lucrative work for the next several generations at least. Platinum group metals are essential to build fuel cells, fast-tracking our civilization out of the oil age and into an industrial revolution of solar power, personal spacecraft, flying cities, and more. First of all, thanks for the warm welcome back to YouTube. In the next videos, what I'm gonna do is post about what I'm learning about in my master's program. Right now, I'm getting a master's in astronomy, and currently I'm taking a planetary science class. So we're gonna move on from solar system to cosmology and astrophysics, and it's all gonna be really, really interesting. But what do you wanna hear about? Post it in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to watch these videos when they come out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.